Hello everyone, I'm Aaron Tyro, and now that Chapter 4 of Fortnite is out, I think it is time to rank every single season from Chapter 1 Season 1 all the way to Chapter 4 Season 1. So if you guys like this type of content, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get right into it. Starting with Chapter 1 Season 1, the OG Fortnite. I myself never played this season because I started playing Chapter 1 Season 3, but uh, everyone who thinks about this season only remembers it for the nostalgia. Now I'm gonna shed the light. This season was pretty bad. We had like all the good guns and stuff, but the map was lackluster. There was like nothing anywhere. There were like barely any good POIs and it was still in their basic thing. There were a lot of glitches, a lot of bugs, stuff like that, a lot of hackers. But still, it was an all right season. And I would even put it in fun just because this is the season that really kicked things off for Fortnite and a lot of streamers found it during the season. Now the season that came after that actually had a battle pass and we had the Dark Knight in the battle pass. One of the better seasons. This one is actually, you know what, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move this one to all right and I'm gonna put season two, chapter one in fun because I think that's when a lot of, the game got way more attention. And obviously, it doesn't stop there because Chapter 1 Season 3, John Wick is in the game. And this might be the be like a very epic season. Might have been my favorite season of all time. It was truly amazing. This, is, this also probably holds a more personal spot for me just because I started playing this season. And um, this is when the meteors start hitting. The lore of Fortnite has begun. Uh, so many new people are getting into the game. It's blown up everywhere and it is truly amazing and it keeps that momentum moving into season 4 with the superhero theme which was amazing. I loved all the, the unique things that they were doing during that time. We had an update like every other week and we were getting so many new things into the game. New weapons, new POIs, new map changes. Um, and unfortunately, the season after that, nothing really happens. It's very slowed down, and it doesn't really beat the, um, the, the previous season, but it is still a very good season. Season 5 is still fun. Uh, we get introduced to Kevin the Cube, a lot of cool things happen. And then season 6, I believe, is when Kevin goes into the lake and turns into the purple lake and then it emerges as like a floating island around the map. This season was actually really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I don't think it was epic by any means but it was still very interesting to see how things were going. The game was getting more and more intense, it was getting sweaty, but it was still pretty fun. Um, the season that came after it was the Ice King season. We had snow all over the map, all those things. Um, other than that, I kind of don't even remember what happened to this season so I'm gonna just put it in all right the season after that was the volcano season we were introduced to the volcano there was like this treasure hunt thing maps were introduced maps I really enjoyed the maps where you found it and then you had to like go to that part and mark like dig out treasure and you got a lot of good loot that was fun I enjoyed that season all right season nine so this is where the game kind of went into overdrive for me it was there was too many things happening I was also getting busy with school, so I wasn't playing as much. And overall, the season was kind of bad. It w I think this is our first bad season. I did not like season 9 that much. But I still played it. I still played it quite a bit. Not as much as the previous seasons, though. But now we go to season 10. Season X, chapter 1 season X, might have been the worst uh, season of all time. We got introduced to mechs. There was, too, there was just too much chaos going around and frankly I I don't even know I stopped playing the season halfway through I, I just couldn't so this is going in the unplayable it, it was just too bad but then the black hole event happens everything restarts they're like oh maybe we shouldn't make the game unplayable so they create a brand new map we get into chapter 2 of Fortnite with chapter 2 season 1 now I actually didn't play this season at all I played like the last like week I think <laughs> I played the last week so I don't know anything about this season I know it was good though so since I really don't know and I've heard good things I'm gonna just put it in all right maybe it would have been higher if I actually played it but yeah it's 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 an all right 
All right, now we get to chapter two, season two. We had the whole spies thing. I really enjoyed this one. This was a fun, this was a fun one. The only downside of this one is it was way too long. This season itself lasted like three other seasons, I believe. But if it wasn't that long, it'd be an epic. But because of the length, it kind of got dull, but it was still a very fun season. So that goes in fun. All right, chapter three, the island gets flooded because of Midas in the previous season and um, everything is flooded. I personally wasn't a huge fan of the water because it was kind of like annoying, but as the season went on, the water levels dropped and we got a lot of cool POIs and we got sharks and all that stuff. Our, overall, it was like a, it was a mid season, I guess. All right, now we get to the superhero season. Chapter two, season four, we got all the, the huge, huge Marvel crossover. We got Iron Man. We got all these amazing skins, we got all these amazing POIs, the whole Stark, like, ring, or whatever that was, looked so cool and was so fun to play. The Stark rifles were amazing, um, and the Galactus event was really good. I think that might have been one of the good, like, one of the best events Fortnite has ever done. So, with all that being said, I'm putting that in Epic. That was a really fun season, and all the superhero mythics, kind of broken, but that was, it wasn't, like, overpowering as Season X. It was, it was still pretty balanced. And pretty good. Alright, the season after that, uh, season 5. This was the zero point crisis season. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember much from it. I think this was the sand. Yeah, there was like sand everywhere on the map. And that was, that was alright, I guess. It, it was kind of cool. There were some very good skins in here, but the season gameplay overall was not that as good as the previous one. So that's gonna go in the alright one. Alright, now we have the Primal Season. A lot of people hate the Primal Season, and if I agreed, I would put it in bad, but it wasn't that bad. It, I kind of liked the whole like system where you can get parts to upgrade your weapons. It was definitely flawed. I feel like it should have been done a little better, but it wasn't as bad as people are saying it was. I, I, I did enjoy the Primal stuff, so I'm going to put... Chapter 2, Season 6 in an alright. It was alright. Alright, Chapter 2, Season 7. This is, I believe, the alien stuff. I... All I remember from this season is UFOs were really OP. And it, the season itself was not that good. Uh, that's gonna be a bad for me. I, I didn't really like... I don't think I like that season that much. Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 8. This was the cubed stuff going on with the zombies and the cube queen and all that stuff. There was a giant pyramid in the middle. I personally wasn't a big fan of the season. I didn't really like the zombies. Carnage was kind of cool, but um, yeah, I think it was a bad season. The live event at the end was pretty good though. I liked it, but there was again, a little too much going on with the zombies and stuff. But that brings us to chapter three. Season one of chapter three, we got a brand new map and Anytime there's a new map, the hype is great, and I love it. So that was a fun season overall. Spider-Man was great. Um, the Rock was hilarious um, and not expected at all. But yeah, good season. Pretty fun. And now we got the Resistance season. There was an all-out war, I believe, that happened. Not gonna lie, I completely forgot what happened during the season. Um, there was just like a war or something. I, I don't know. It, it was alright, I guess. I, don't, I, I have no idea what happened. And now we get to vibing, which is, uh, pretty, pretty mid, I guess. I, I don't know. All these just seem boring. There, there isn't like anything good happening, but there isn't anything bad happening. Um, it, it was alright though. It, it was fun. It was fun. And, um, yeah, I, I will put it in. And now we get to Paradise. The Chrome stuff uh, was interesting, but I this season didn't really do it for me. I did not like it. Uh, the live event at the end was terrible. And um, the whole like map turning into Chrome was not at all interesting. And I think that was a bad season. It wasn't unplayable, but it, it, wasn't, that, it wasn't good at all. And now that brings us to chapter 4, season 1. Since we are this early in it, I feel like it's a bit unfair to uh, rank this among the others. But I am still going to try my best and be fair to it. Um, so far, I love this season. I've been playing <laughs> Fortnite 
nonstop as soon as the season came out. And it's oh, it's really fun. I love the whole augment system. I love the, the new guns. I love the hammer. The Excalibur rifle is overpowered and that's why it's so fun to use. And I think this season has potential of being an epic season. Alright, so this was my tier list of the Fortnite seasons from Chapter 1, Season 1, all the way to Chapter 4, Season 1. Comment below if you agree or disagree, and also comment below what you would have changed if you disagree. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!